Yo, what's good? It's Retro Dre back on Why the F*** Do You Make Music Podcast. I got my co-host Ty. We got our guest Aspel over here. And we got a special episode for y'all. Maybe a few episodes for y'all. But we got it. Let's get to it. You dig? You dig? Bow. Do y'all think Soulja Boy was at all influential in music in general? Absolutely. I said that. But they were like, they were like, he, he's no. one. He's one of the ones who, I'm not going to say the first one, but one of the main ones who popularized the dance era in rap. I brought up the same topic. But then they brought everybody, up people. Everybody was doing the fucking Superman. I don't care if he was good or bad. At, everybody was doing that shit. Yeah. They brought up everybody people want, that were doing no. it before. And everybody wanted to wear babes. After that, well, I ain't gonna yeah. Pharrell, mm-hmm. Pharrell mm-hmm. ushered that in first, mm-hmm. but Soldier Boy mm-hmm. took it to another level. He may mm-hmm. want to buy yums. Mm-hmm. I was one of those people, but I can never get them. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. I want to buy a pair of yums. I did. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna hold you. I said, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's interesting. He was the one who actually figured out how to go viral accidentally, um, or you think he always had that in mind? He, he says that he yeah. figured out how to work the algorithm so when people search something, his song would pop up. But is it accidental? There was no, you... Back then, there was no algorithm for real. Yeah, there it was. was. It's always something like behind the scenes, like code and shit. I think he said he figured out in the video that get the song. I feel like he too. just he just made something and it that was, yeah. And then he just said, oh, well, yeah, I did this, but he did, I don't think he did it on purpose. What else was like that on YouTube at the time? YouTube was weird when it first came up because you remember, y'all remember the Chocolate Rain song? The yeah, cho- Chocolate, Chocolate Rain. rain. Yeah. <laughs> you too young. <laughs> that's early YouTube. That's like oh, that's like oh five oh eight. I can't remember. That's like real early. It's the dude literally saying with a deep voice, Chocolate Rain. Yeah. It's like literally a song called Chocolate Rain went yeah. viral. OGs know about this one. The two girls in one cut video. Nasty ass shit. That was YouTube? Yeah. I thought that was something else. Yeah. That, I, that wasn't YouTube. I remember man. from the YouTube area. That might have been another website. Yeah, it was. Don't act like you wasn't on no X video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be trying to make it seem like you just stumbled across it. Yo, at Time out. Search it. Time out. <laughs> Search it. Time out. <laughs> Different podcasts, my bad. Time out. Time out. Time out. Okay. Time out. My bad. We called him out on it. <laughs> yeah. I remember, seeing that. I remember seeing that video on YouTube and her. Mm-hmm. Cause everyone was talking about that. Mm. That video was fucking nasty, regardless. Mm. Okay, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, YouTube. I remember it too, though. Yeah. So when did when did YouTube like start? Oh five oh six. That's maybe. crazy. It ain't that far. And when did he? When when did when would you say Soldier Boy? That same time. Or a year later, a year or two later. Damn. Yeah, he was already doing something then for him to have that type of like understanding. He was he had to be on MySpace mm. doing some shit because I don't know. Oh yeah, you can't forget about MySpace either. But see, yeah. then again, that makes me wonder. Okay, if YouTube came out around the same time Soldier Boy got pop, YouTube can't just make a, a website called YouTube and somebody just go in there and pop same year like. Mm. So now I'm like, uh, okay, so early YouTube, YouTube. Early YouTube was a movie, I'll tell you that. Because damn it, I ain't going to say anything, but a lot of random stuff on YouTube was going viral because when it first started, it was so, a, it's not like it is now. Because YouTube, before Google bought it, is a totally different YouTube. Mm-hmm. Do you think YouTube paid these people to go on their platform and do what they did? Or do you think mm-hmm. they those people just so they Maybe stumbled on YouTube and mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Combination of both. I'll be right back. Cool, cool. Because uh, I know the um, uh, the the podcast and stuff that had went on. Uh, was it Spotify? Spotify paid people to you know podcast yeah. on their platform. Like, do you think it was one of those, or do you think it was kind of just like I say the combination of the two? Because when you first start something and you're a new company, you want to get people to do stuff on your platform that gets views and gets attention so they probably paid a select amount of people to actually say hey post these type of videos or post as often or be a part of this program so you could help us help you so do you think making money off youtube was a thing back then oh yeah because like for, the same as it is now like all views and stuff or do you think it was kind of just like it was know? a i believe I can't, I'm not all the way sure. There's another, there's another expert, another video somewhere that y'all probably can look up to get the exact information about this. But 
I know it's not the same as it was now, but you could make money off YouTube, but it was just in different ways. But at first, when it first came up, I, that I don't know. Smoke, smoke. Oh, I'm actually looking. What is YouTube? December 15th, 2005. Wow. That's tough. Yeah, I believe the official day YouTube launched officially was December 15th, 2005. That's tough. So you can see people have literally videos from like 17, 15 years ago. <laughs> Still on YouTube today. That's tough. <laughs> like when YouTube had a dislike button, yeah. Hey, so... I ain't even gonna say nothing. No, go ahead. Uh, wasn't it something on YouTube where like a dude had went back and like started suing people who did like was that Soldier Boy? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> wait. That like because I think like he can't hint. Somebody ended up coming back and said they freaking copyrighted some some song with the dance, and then like people a bunch of people were doing it on YouTube like back in the day, but the dude came back like recently and was like, yeah, like. I need that. <laughs> and so, like, regular people are now getting, like, sued for dancing on, like, YouTube back in, like, 2005. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Was I, it Soulja Boy, though? It, I don't think so. But I, I that's I feel like you're talking about that Atlanta episode. I could be wrong. <laughs> Where they do, there was an episode on there called The Crank That Killer. And they were literally, like, killing everybody no. who did the Crank That video. Yeah, but the, that was, like, that was a real life like that well no not the killing but you get what i'm saying like that was a real life like that was a real life scenario like well people were dancing like back in like 2005 2006 mm -hmm. oh just i don't know who the artist was but he had made a song and the dance was apparently with it kind of like soldier boy mm -hmm. but apparently it was copyrighted or something so he went back and like basically i like, tried to like sue everybody that like danced on it back in like 2005 2006 it was it was definitely an episode on Lama about it but that was like it was real that was real life <laughs> like he did that within like the past year i believe but the answer the soldier boy question soldier boy song came out in the fall of 2007 so oh youtube launched december 15th 2005 crank that came out fall of 2007 that's enough time for them to regulate some things and maybe get a couple of things going. Maybe two years yeah. with the amount of people that work for them. You know, they definitely could have. Because I know Facebook and you know some of these other when he got all his money pushed behind it, you can really make some changes quickly. So maybe that's why he was able to viral. How do y'all feel about World Star now? It's uh, irrelevant. <laughs> I don't look for it. I you know I ain't gonna I, say I irrelevant. I'm not gonna say irrelevant, it. but. It's not the tool that Sar it wants. Sarkeisha, Sarkeisha was the last thing I remember yeah. slapping the shit out. Yeah. <laughs> Sarkeisha, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slap her around the world, bro. That's yeah. it. I just know them for fighting. That's it. So, like, what What else? Like, they just... I mean, after Q died, it was pretty much over for him after that, pretty much. I don't even know who Q is. The founder of World Star, man. Mm. Okay. 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 Cause I know they do, they used to do like a bunch of big stuff with music. Like when that was probably when Q was around. Back when Kodak, I think Kodak that when was, he came out with like No Flocking, that was when Q was like around. he was posted up on World. Like his, I believe he released that music video on World Star. Mm. Like people used to do that. Like they used to send their in their music. You could still do that to this day, but how profitable is? <laughs> I, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know their audience anymore. Mm. So people. Because people figured out how to use YouTube now. So mm. why I go to Worldstar at this point? Yeah. And yes. what type of audience are you really trying to capture going on Worldstar? Yeah. Question. Yeah. Worldstar is a black community. And so if you still want that, then you definitely got it. Because there's not a lot of, you know, I don't think Caucasians looking for things on Worldstar. No. We are looking <laughs> if anything else. So if you want that black community, then you know, okay, Worldstar it exists in and you can go there. You know, YouTube is full of everybody. So I think there's some there's some things that, you know, we still can use if we want to just present ourselves. And that's one of them. What we present, you know, I don't know the regulations of what Worldstar allows now, but hey, 
OnlyFans is is up and running. So shit. I mean, no, on, on some real shit, you can use an OnlyFans. It's just use it for its original intention instead of what it got popularized for. Yeah, but I think they. No, 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 real shit. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 no. It's just a subscription content platform. That's all it is. It definitely is. But I, I... So even though it got the negative con- connotation, if you want to use it as a way to get people to pay for exclusive content, they that's gonna, not you that don't, shit. You're going to pay for some. You're going to pay to look at somebody tell you something that you... People do it all the time. Yeah. People do that of, a lot. A lot of podcasts have their exclusive, explicit episodes on Patreon, only behind a paywall. What's okay. that one app? Um, is it, is it Anchor? Where, like, you can, like, release, like, so, like, for instance, like, podcasts, like... They just got bought up by Spotify, but that's called Spotify for podcasters now, but it used to be, that's used oh, to be the name of it, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it was like, you could, like, post stuff up, but you could, like, differentiate, like, what you wanted for the public eye and what you wanted for, like, a certain, like, subscriber group, but, like, they would have to pay, like, you know, a certain amount of month, Patreon. whether it be five... Patreon. Okay, Patreon. I just said, yeah, yeah, Patreon. Mm, smooth. Yeah, so yeah, heck yeah. That they was doing that too. That's kind of just like OnlyFans. They just don't have the ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I ain't shoot for people that's OnlyFans doing their thing. Do making if money. Do what, what you, you gotta do. do. You go feel ahead. me? Yeah. Ain't no judgment over here. I, I ain't bashing you. I won't be looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> you get yeah. what I'm saying? But hey, if you you got people that are paid. Some money to you get them. I think also, hey. you know, you're 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 dealing with three um creatives who don't necessarily consume. I prefer to create versus consumption. But then I think even though I wouldn't do it, what you're saying is there are people who would because they have the mind of a consumer. And I have to understand that, okay, not everybody's gonna think like me. So you I'm you know, you're right. You're right. Yeah, people just wanna look at and watch it. Some yeah, people you're right. And some people right. have no problem, you know, just going to work, coming home. Right. You know, like, yo, you know, I want I want to see more. I need right. that. <laughs> hand in the hand of you the bread right yeah, there. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm subscribing. Right. You're cool. Right. Mm. Or some people like, hey, that ass look fat. I need that. Yeah. Like, I either do. or facts. You know, but there's there's free content for that if you need it that bad. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that's also a hundred percent true. But some people be like, yo, I need that. Those are the people that I just question. Like, are you selling that? Are you like, are you a trafficker? Are you? Does you know it? Does it matter? I mean, if it, well, no, nah, it doesn't. But it does. Like, just knowing, I, I, for me, the way I look at certain parts of the world, because I'm, like, I'm, I'm just saying this: if they want to traffic themselves, I don't give a fuck. Huh? If they want to traffic themselves, I don't give a fuck. Go ahead, do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, you had to. If somebody hitting if, you up, if, ask if, you for a picture for some if, bread, you feel me? You, you, you know, sending them that picture, they could do whatever they like. They want with you it, yeah. feel me? So they could go on Twitter and post it up a uh, fifty thousand times. Yeah, and you get what I'm saying, but yeah. you can't be mad at them shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> you sold them the picture, <laughs> right? Or the video, or you get what I'm saying, or both. If that's what you're into, go ahead. You're right. I don't get it though. Yeah. Nah. But we ain't them, so I, I think it would be great to have one of them in here, so I can understand and talk to them. You know, like one of them people who pay for oh, feet pay pictures, for. Uh, pay for feet pictures and shit like that. I don't know if you'd be able to get them up there <laughs> with the mask yeah. and shit, like you know, having, <laughs> yeah, having yeah. Them speaking yeah. <laughs> them with the, the voice decoder. Go and give them a podcast, shiesty. You know what I'm saying? Let them do what they gotta do. I'd man. actually like to hear from the seller. Yeah, like the only fans person theirself. <laughs> like, how did you even like? Cause most of them don't even put like that. They don't put their face in it. So it's kind of just like, how do you, Market how right. did you even build up a community without? I'm, of course you did it without showing your face because of you know the other parts. But how would you even like? How did you? You just post a picture and yeah, boom. That's Some people it. really just like feet though. Some people really just like the feet. What? Why? For what? Can't tell you. They yeah. just have to be the masterminds at building the community. Cause how did you? I'm I understand how you did it, but there's a science to everything. You have to. I don't know, bro. Cause it's not like if, if somebody has to subscribe to your OnlyFans, how are they seeing the content before they subscribe to your OnlyFans? 
that's that's like a gamble. I'm guessing, like because you people me? people will go and they'll get the content and then they'll re put it somewhere, you know, somewhere Reddit. else for, for someone else Making to buy it. Off Reddit. <laughs> yeah, so it's like reselling. Like I'm gonna go pick up these these shoes right here and I'm gonna resell it. You know, so I'm gonna... no, no. See, not the person buying, the person who made the account. Like, mm-hmm. how did you even? You didn't show your face. You didn't put out any pictures or anything that no one didn't pay for. So how did you? Well, what they don't be telling you is a lot of them don't be making money like that either. Nah, yeah, but for the ones mm. who do, how? Like, if you're not famous, if if nobody seen your face, it was like, yeah, I'd like to see that. And you just handed them a card with your OnlyFans on it, which mm. ain't happening. You feel me? How mm. did they How did they even see you to say, yeah, I want to subscribe to that? It could be. Community, content, and and collaboration. They're not showing mm. their face. I mean, Some of them are and not. coochie. Some of them are not. Mm-hmm. But where are they posting it? If it's in OnlyFans and you gotta subscribe Some of them to OnlyFans, Instagrams to see where they like you want to see more. Yeah, exactly. You know, okay. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Link in the bio. bio. You see all that okay. shit. Okay. Like, link. All right, YouTube. Okay, okay, they do okay. U hauls and shit, or they try on clothes. They use and other they, content to promote. Yeah. Things like music artists do. We know okay. about it. I ain't talking about it because now we starting to get. Did- <laughs> look, we, look, bro. I got a lady, bro. I get mine. You know what I'm saying? We ain't in that shit, lady. I love, you. baby. I love you. You know what I'm saying? I don't be needing that you know nah so. it's still just like a that's i don't i feel like that's like a grand scheme of like the best marketing in what like out there honestly mm. like i feel like people sleeping on the only fan people because they mm. could probably really teach people something like Facts. you feel me like they more than just but they're most but they're selling sex and that's easy. no that's an, they're selling no, 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 pictures not, not all of them but they're selling they're selling erotica they're selling sexiness when it comes to that. Mm. If that's what you into, you mm. fit. We got that's strippers out here, bro. Exactly. You, you they're, se- they're selling the erotica of the sex. A personal stripper. Like, this is your personalized, digitalized stripper. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I, I got a boy, private yeah. stripper in my crib, and I can just do this in my private time. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing for porn and bullshit like that. I know as a young man... <laughs> Baby, I love you, man. That's my man. All right, but cool. <laughs> so, incriminate me on social. <laughs> Yo, but in my younger days, though, bro, you know, you, it's the yeah, fantasy so. of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, this is an ass I probably would never, you know, really look at in real life this close. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get it close to the screen with it, you know? Yeah. I'm going to look at this, and I'm, you know, and there's different variety packs. You know what I'm saying? You got different, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different flavors, you know what I'm saying? Not, yeah. You got all that shit up there. It's like, yo, I ain't never seen this brochure. You got all these different venues I can, you know, go to real quick, you know? So, so what do y'all think personally about them? I, now, I'm off the top of, uh, this is way off top of music and stuff, mm-hmm. but what, what do you guys think personally about, like, about OnlyFans people? You know, I'm, well, women? Yes. Okay, yeah, OnlyFans women. women. So how how would you... More proud to them. Go ahead and get your money. I don't give a fuck. Mm. But how would you... So let's say like, boom, you in a mall. Feel me? Chilling. You get what I'm saying? You vibing, chilling, but she she do OnlyFans. How would you... Like, it, people don't know it's her. They don't know it's her. They ain't never see her face. She just on there showing the body. She just... You get what I'm saying? That nobody knows her. You don't know, but you don't know who follow her now. Yeah, we probably got a few. Use what she get, use what she good for. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. Hey. Yeah, there be cats that really be making only. They be helping with the content because when they be hollering at these women, some of them, you know, they'll pull out their phones and shit, and they'll probably record them getting fucked on by this stranger. Who just rocked out and this is my only fan. So they're all they're still thinking like a content creator, but yeah. they're creating a different content, you know? So they always with that camera ready, like, all right, I'm about to go and, you know, do this dude in behind the dumpster or whatever. I'm gonna record <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'm gonna record myself because this is content. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I don't I would assume these women just think like content creators, you know, they're always looking for that next bit of content. I yeah. It's, I would love to get an OnlyFans shorty, but I'm I'm guaranteeing out of all the female friends we have, there's one that we probably would have never. That there's one out of all the female friends we got. I'm sure there's one. I see. I know. I mean, I know a like couple. Said, get get your money. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know a couple who do OnlyFans. Now like, we need to bring them. 
Nah, yeah, I, I can. You feel me? I just haven't necessarily. I haven't talked to them. Ab- like you get, I haven't just been like, "Hey, so why do you like?" You get what I'm saying? It's just. Then she, I, took, then she show you that damn phone with that, you know, little pay on it. She's like, "Well, this is it. It's rent. You know what I'm saying? Rent, light bills. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no man. You know what I'm saying? Because half of these women be single anyway. More than half of them, I would assume. So, you know. Oh, do you know? Is it not true? They don't be single. Now, see, they don't. I, no, they don't. I'm, they I know a single. couple. I know a couple. You feel me? My man's, my man's, his girl do OnlyFans. Nigga ain't got no problem with it. Okay. Feel me? But at the same time, she profit enough to where she could break bro off too. You feel me? So he bro, pay her to, she pay him to. She, yeah, okay. they don't, That's they don't different. work. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, well, they on other businesses and stuff, but you know, if, if it weren't for those OnlyFans, they wouldn't have been able to start those businesses. If it won't for, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, bro. They be getting it like that. I ain't gonna hold them. Some of them be getting it, bro. They, and then you can write it off with taxes. So, mm. <laughs> you mm. feel me? <laughs> like, they really making that shit into like a. It's a business, it's, dog. It's crazy. Yeah. It's it's never not been a business mm. historically. So it's just now digital. Mm. So it's like the modern porn. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. It's like a modern. Depends on some of them. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah. yeah eventually, we're gonna have AI with that shit. No, <laughs> you know probably already started. Yeah, probably. That shit is horrible. We got sex dolls and all that, yo. So, for the artists, and we talking about music still. We gonna we gonna wrap around, but in music, <laughs> sex does sell. So don't think we ain't talking about music. We still talking about music because sex does. Yeah, sell. like art. If artists get want to use OnlyFans, I mean, yeah, to promote more content. If it gotta be that or whatever else, you can use OnlyFans. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of female artists out here mm. on OnlyFans. Battle and I, rappers too. Female battle rappers. Probably yeah. making more money on OnlyFans than their music. Cool. Mm. For sure. Mm. I can you could you could look at somebody and tell if they make money on OnlyFans. Mm. I mean, not not they gotta tell you they do OnlyFans. You ain't yeah. just gonna look Some and say, yeah, see OnlyFans, you and hear but, a record, so it's like, all right. Yeah. But see, you okay, with a female, I would say that that's that's a chance to grab a male audience and a female audience cuz respectfully depending on what you're rapping about like a bro a dude's not going to hop in their car and play that mm. you get what I'm saying like yeah let me find an example like JT Megan the stop bro I'm not you are cool you hard you, yeah. you can rap you feel me you're hard but that's just not the stuff that you're rapping about I wouldn't yeah they like, for me yeah yeah it's not it's not for me you feel me but Again, not me, but you get what I'm saying. They mess around and post something on OnlyFans. I know it's gonna be about ten thousand dudes off gate to just yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. feel me? That's why it's like yeah. I don't, I don't know. And like you said earlier, make other content about you know other things that you enjoy, and some of these women just enjoy fucking, or they enjoy whatever, and they don't really. I mean, whatever it is, they, you know, I don't Some know. Some people use that as their excuse to be a little... Raunchy? Yeah, a little, little bit of a hoish. Mm. <laughs> if, if that's what they want to do, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Dre's just like, I don't give a fuck. Dre's just saying, <laughs> bro. <you make, laughs> Dre basically ain't saying not one thing. We sit up here trying to get deep into the mentality. Dre like, shake that ass, bitch. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> I mean, we all know issues of why they doing it, but that, that's what yeah. they want to do. That's what they want to do. Go that's ahead, probably do that how they going to be when they, like, if we did get them on a part, that's probably how they going to be, though. They just going to be like, shit. I like it. I do it. It's good money. Yeah, like they sure. probably gonna say that. Like sitting here confident as hell too. Yeah. Like you feel yeah. me? Just yeah, relaxing. And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like what's, I'm yeah. not expecting people like that to be introspective. Yeah. If they do, it's a surprise. Like all right, whatever. But I don't. I'm not expecting. Like what's fuck. Like I expect some of them to have more of a business mind than some of the people out here running real businesses. To a degree. Mm-hmm. I get you there. To a degree. Okay. With their eyes, so with their body, like if they didn't so, have so, their body, I don't feel like they they would have that business exactly. push. So, yeah, it's yeah. mostly just selling pussy, so it's cool. Just ahead, like you music. said with the yeah. music, good music. You gotta have good music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you gotta have a good look. You gotta good whatever business, yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever you, yeah. So whatever you present, so it all goes in. It yeah. all is the same shit, yeah. regardless. It don't sound of like we talking about music. We still talking about music because yeah. it yeah. all relates. <laughs> yeah. So it's not even music; it's just art in general. Cause you can be a chef, and your shit has got to have some. It like literally the analogy of serving. You know, you can be a chef, and the same analogy works. And then you can be 
a martial artist, which is an art. Anything that you're doing from a creative place, and and that's not many things you're not going to do that's not going to be creative in some spaces, like putting on clothes. Like you said, that's creative to certain people because they're looking at stitching. They're looking at, you know, flavors of, of, of colors and splashes and shit. My lady do that shit all the time. Like my ear, the earring she put on got to match the fucking nose and shit. Like, man, these clothes. Yeah, material <laughs> yeah, and designs and yeah. Man. But they looking through that. You're a photographer. That's an art. You're not looking through that camera lens like, you're looking through like the camera lens and then looking out to see and then looking back into the camera lens because the lens you're looking through is not just the camera, it's the creative eye. So you're also angling things and you're also doing something. Whereas me, I'm just setting it up to see the subject. You're trying to set it up to tell the story the subject is in. You know what I'm saying? So there's different artistic lens and that's where going back to the Amazon, you know, pushing hiring people that excel in those different positions that have that creative lens so where you're not having to sit here and no nah, I don't like that this this graphic artist he gets it or this person they get it they just have a creative lens where I can just trust and that's so hard for people in higher positions to do is just trust the people that they're working with is just do their job because they feel like they got to always come through let me check that and at first you may have to, but at some point releasing so that time that you're talking about as money can be freed. Because if you have all these different people in positions, you're if you're looking at all of the more kids you got, the more time got to be spent to make sure everybody feel loved and et cetera. And then the more employees, mm -hmm. the more paychecks got to get written. The more conversation, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, But man. everybody do, does their job well mm -hmm. and makes money. Right. That's where it's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how would you say? So how would you say finding a team? Where would you like? How would that process be? Finding a team or starting that route, that journey. Who wants to help you genuinely without the money first? Who are you willing to help without the money? Who's willing to help you without the bread? That's, that's hard. That's ah. hard. That's hard. That's okay. That's, hard. That's, that's one step. That's one step. I ain't gonna say it's always gonna be that, but who's willing to invest in you? Invest in them. By invest, what you mean? Time, whatever, whatever, money, whatever, whatever, but it's actually getting you somewhere. Okay. What are the right people you're going to be around business wise or whatever it was that's going to help you go to the next level? Okay, but that's very. That can help you in different positions, such as what's a good marketer, you know, what's a good graphic designer, you know, what's a good videographer, what's a good photographer, you know. Okay. If that person that you need to hire isn't steps above you in whatever position that mm. you're trying to hire them in, don't hire them. Mm. Like, if it's they can get in that position and do the same exact thing you did... Yeah. Don't. It, what's the use? Yeah. What's the use? You okay. might as well do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah. Hiring people that's better than you in that respective field. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's a way to start. So, looking for people who are steps above you in whatever it is. That's a, that's a starting point. And don't and like he said, in a better way than I did, don't do the same thing as you do right. that you're trying to accomplish. Okay. Because looking for different people is how you build a team because everybody is a specialist in their perspective fields. Yeah. But in Okay. Don't I would don't hire a yes man. Like mm -hmm. it like it, it, if y'all are in meetings and stuff and every time you say something they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your whole team's just, yeah, mm -hmm. nah. Like, because you mean tell me we've been having meetings this whole year mm -hmm. and y'all ain't had nothing. You got, y'all mm -hmm. ain't had nothing to contradict. I ain't said nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. You got, if that's the case, we'd be millionaires. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you kind of want to get people that ain't afraid to, nah, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, we can't even, nah. We and I'll say one thing in common, way. though, is a common goal between everybody. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying you just said don't hire somebody who's not doing the same thing as you, common goals and that's and that's, common interests are different. Yes. Okay. Common goal to achieve something, not common goal of trying to do something in a related field. Okay. Common goal to achieve something. So okay. not like not like an individual goal, like like okay. a goal like a, a cameraman. You know, his goal will obviously be to you know, get the perfect shots to, you know, do that. That's what you, you kind of want him to, that's what you want his goal to be as the cameraman. Your goal, your goal with his goal should be the overall result of making profit from this video. You feel me? Mm. Producer, your goal and the producer's goal should just be to get the best sound that you guys feel like y'all could get with this mm. product. You get what I'm saying? And so on, you know, with the different fields and everything. But the goal should just be to, if he ain't there to help you blow your artist, he don't need to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get, mm -hmm. If he don't like your artist, he don't, you know, if he don't think your artist make good music or whatever, then 
he's not going to be more susceptible to do the best as he would for an artist that he really mess with mm. or that he really, you know, rock with or, you know, his goals ain't going to be the same. Mm. He ain't going to think about his goal being blow this music video because he don't think he could blow a music video with, bro. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? So it's like... So, so how important is it for that start, I think, because this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> if that's the case, then the first person you pick is going to be like the foundational person outside of yourself, but everybody else has to line up with that person. So you're building around the people that you pick so that way there's no line up with the goal the yeah, first person needs to goal. be the artist okay and the so, foundation has to be set by that person yes okay and then everybody else that comes along is helping build. but really though is it the artist because when you go into the nba do you do you talk to the players first or do you the talk to the coordinators person, the reason and the, and the, the, the reason the coordinators get there is because of the players yeah but without the, the the, so, all, right, well, all right, so you go to the NBA, okay. you feel me? Y'all might have team practices and okay. stuff and practice over plays, but each individual player has their own individual coach. Like, you, y'all, y'all might lift weights as a team and do the team lift weights, but y'all might be doing that once, twice a week, you know, maybe a mm. couple more days a week, but you still gonna meet with your own fitness and wellness coach mm. to make sure your body's straight. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because, mm. yeah, you lifting weights with the team. You're doing stuff with the team, like, for for example, other artists on the label, you're doing stuff with other artists on the label, you know, team projects, making sure the team is all good, but individual got to be set up too. Because if your individual ain't set up, you're just going to be dropped from the team. Okay, so you're building a record label. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just questioning, like, getting into it. So you're building a label. <clears throat> you're going to put the artist before you put the the uh, the accountant? You're going to hire the artist before you're going to put the artist in there to start well, the artist accountant don't get paid. Yeah. But the accountant needs, it, yeah, it's, it's still multi, it's still so. The accountant and all them, they're just there, obviously, until the artist gets there. But they still need to be there before, because now if the artist does make money, now you're going to scramble to find what? You're going to scramble to find them? Or so that they That's, can, no, well, the label, The label and the artist have two different foundations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would, they just come together to build upon the collective goal they each have for each other. Okay. I would set up everything around that artist before I even sign him. So like okay. after I evaluate him and we're like, okay, boom, we need you a good DJ. We need you a good cameraman. We need you a good boom. We need these things to happen. You know. So wouldn't you already have those things already? So that way the assembly line can start because the artist is the package. I would have those relationships. Okay. Okay. So okay. I would never make relationships with just one DJ, okay. just one producer, just one engineer. Cause then all the artists are going to sound the same. Okay. You you got one sound, you got one visual, you got one everything. So I wouldn't just have one producer, okay. one engineer, one nothing. You know, you want to have multiple. Now, this cameraman might not be the best for this project. So hmm. you get what I'm saying? This producer might not be the best for this project. It just all depends on, you know, if this, if this producer is better at making rap beats, I wouldn't pair him with a singing artist. Hmm. Just because if this video man is better at making rap you know videos i wouldn't pair him for a love song mm. just because you get what i'm saying so it just depends on the artist like just like it depends on the dj like it depends on the radio station like you can't but when you say the people that we're talking about who are masters at their craft that we they're hired they would know how to do a litany of things because you have to and that's to where be. super producers come into play you're not getting them starting out though mm. <laughs> like okay. you get okay. what i'm saying like okay. you can't got you like a super producer we talking about Maybe what, like twelve hundred? Maybe a band to make that record for you, almost yeah. dang near to like be in Scott the studio. Storch. Fucking Zaytoven or something. Yeah. yeah, see, Zaytoven, he was just through um Riley and Charlotte, and he was doing like people could pull up to the studio and just beat him, chop it up with him and stuff. And I heard he was telling people like seven fifty starting out, like just he ain't even gonna be in the studio with you. He gonna sing you something, you know. So, but that's of course all yours. You get what I'm saying? Now see. Back to YouTube and beat stars. And why would you want to sound like Zaytoven today? Yeah, mm. you, you don't get think Zaytoven has has. I'm not saying he can't, but why today? Zaytoven is now okay. He was Zaytoven has a legendary mark in music. I'm not saying that, but why would you want to sound like him today? Yeah, the sound is older and played out. I'm not saying he can't it's, make new shit. It's but... cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. go, I definitely go get a beat yeah, or two. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But I wouldn't make that like if we're talking about needing a full producer for my whole EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I I... same reason why Timberland had a hard time mm. crossing over between eras because he, even though he is a super super producer, 
His sound what was mainly really? in that era. Is Timberland really a super producer? Yes, hundred percent. It's another. So he he makes he he's a sample maker. He's a because I only know Timberland. He never get on no live or nothing with no live instrument and did anything. That's he, not see. That's where people get uh-uh. beat maker producer confused. Okay. Oh, producer is in. Okay. Yeah, because I've seen those videos where he's telling people around him, "Hey, do this." That's producing. Okay. All right. Cool. He also can do some of the I stuff. I ain't hating Timberland. Too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying. Y'all can do this stuff himself too, but at the same time, he's had other people do yeah. stuff too. That's producing. You yeah. go do this, go do that. Same like in film, but when it comes to music, it's a little different because people like to put beat maker and producer in the same category. No. Yeah. Some producers can actually make beats too. Not all beat makers can produce. Okay. I got you. Okay. That's what makes like a difference between like uh, Tay Keith and a. Uh, Timberland. Mm, okay. You don't hear any Tay Keith R&B beats. You hear Timberland rap, hip hop, R&B, <laughs> yeah, pop. Right. Unless it's a, you know, yeah, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all been listening to YBT Fat? Y'all listen to him at all? I heard of him, yeah. Yeah. That, 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 I see what these, the people like Tay Keith and uh, Last Zaytoven. Talking Last talking point, so make it good. All right, smooth. Pe- people like them, they're making these R&B beats and I ain't, it, it's probably the R and B tone for like the first ten seconds, and then it's like, yeah, 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 straight rap. Yeah, my lady, I was <laughs> you get talking what I'm about saying? that shit. Um, we was listening to some beats and shit. Like, you know, a lot of these R and B beats a little too busy. Like, you can't even fuck to them no more because they're you know, rap beats. They're rap the beats. Yeah, yeah, they be a little busy and <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, and my lady and I was just like, yeah, that's that's interesting. If now, y'all y'all get a chance, look up YBT Fat. Like he 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 hard. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? But I feel like. He he's the king of sample beats right now. I would say, hmm. definitely, because he's taking these '90s beats and he's making them rap beats, and then he's rapping on them, and it sound nice. You get what I'm saying? So it's like Big X the Plug doing that as well. Yep, yeah, I, I heard Big X the Plug too. Yeah, a lot of these guys. I mean, but that's the that's the beat makers or the producers. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. All right. I would say beat maker if if they're not in the studio making it right then and there with everybody. But like a super producer, I would imagine like when we pull up to the studio and meet a super producer, he's, you like this 90s beat? All right, smooth. Let's try to add something to it. And he's making it kind of right there in front of me. And we're we're making an overall sound right like, there. You know how Money Long did that Made For Me song? And JD came in and put his little spin on it with him and Brian Michael Cox. And made into what it was. That's insert clip here. That's super producing. So pretty much hearing something that somebody else is doing. Say, hey, I used to, I did that back in the day. So it's so uplifted to the new sound today. Boom. That's in short form kind of producer producing. <clears throat> okay, but also making it on a certain level. Like yeah, I feel like if you don't make if you can't make a song and send it to a popular artist and they want to hop on it right now, I don't feel like you're a super producer. Mm. Yeah, you sorry. get what I'm saying? Main, main thing. Well, <laughs> I can't say that, but super producers know how to make hits consistently. Beat makers know how to make a few hits. Like, if, if Lil Baby was to hit up a super producer right now, I expect bro to send Lil Baby a folder of beats and it'd be hard for Lil Baby to decide which one he want to choose. A beat maker, he gonna, Lil Baby gonna flip through about 50 of them and say, ah, I'm gonna go with this one. Better example, super, super producers make careers. Beat makers make one single. Mm, one yeah. But do, don't you think then if that's the case that the engineer whoever's mixing that beat also has to be on point too? Because oh, your, beat can, yeah. your beat can be arranged <laughs> great, but if that motherfucking engineer ain't mixing them... It, See, of most of the time with super producers, they'll actually... Send the beat off And they'll tell you To send it back Like yeah, yeah. You feel, After you record bro Come on Like send it back It ain't gonna be Mixing and mastering But he's gonna adjust Certain knobs I'm guessing To you know Make it right So mm. okay. But if you got the money For a super producer You, you got money For an engineer <laughs> Facts <laughs> Yeah Facts Yeah or Use AI you know. I mean Hey if you wanna get Some samples right now Yeah UDO Who? UDO UDIO uh-huh. UDO. 
go if you don't want to get no samples clear want to have to worry about it go to that website type in a prompt generate a sample boom chop that motherfucker up you oh, lit it makes the sample for yeah, you yeah type it type in whatever what like 90s soul song it'll generate yeah, he can a show couple. it to us he gonna, when the camera yeah, come off yeah, he gonna yeah, show it it'll you be know? a couple 90s soul songs that'll pop up and then you listen to them see what you like if you don't like it remix it add a section add an intro add a hook add an outro or you want a new song, make a little remix it, edit it, put a new prompt in, boom, you got to, you find so what you like, it, chop that motherfucker up, boom, you out of here. Make a beep. All right, so how does that work with all right, so you if don't, I was, you can't clear nothing that's not real. That answers your question. Mm. Mm. So it's not even a real You can't clear anything that's not real. So you're so good. If I so I could get one of those beats. You Hop on it, record on it. Clear anything that's not real, so you good. <laughs> yeah, we gonna see it after the camera come on. Yeah, we gonna see it. One, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you for dropping that and the, you know throwing it out there. Heck yeah. This video Heck is not yeah. sponsored. You know it will be one day, but not right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Speak it. These are quick hitters right now. Ways artists can make world money. Go. T-shirts. This is for everybody in the yes, room? This oh, is okay. For everybody. All right. So, paraphernalia, like merch, um, shows, obviously. Uh, shit, ways artists can make money. Yep. More money. Yep. More mm. money. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, don't, let's. Don't, don't explain nothing right now. Just say some answers. We'll explain them next time. Okay. Shopify t shirting. Like t shirts with sh- drop shipping t shirts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, that's still merch. So yeah. that falls into the merch. Subscriptions. Yeah. Subscriptions, yeah. Um, Courses, if you're into that. I think any intellectual property can be sellable. Mm-hmm. Your music, your, your... More money, making more money. Assume they're already selling music. Oh. Okay, then already I would say music. selling your music individually if you have the fan base so stripping yourself from distribution platforms so you know saying i thought you about to say stripping my bad go ahead nah (laughs) stripping yourself from like just music platforms so instead of well there's two versions of this cutting just cutting out the middleman and just dropping the music yourself so i will say say that's a bad idea we'll talk about it later i think anywhere your person is you can sell it like if you're if you're showing up to an interview sell make people buy your presence anywhere your presence is if you already got a fan base your presence needs to be have some a price tag okay. on it you know yeah. so if i leave my house you're gonna pay me to go wherever you want me to go okay. shows merch selling fucking books that i may have written because i already write fucking music so i write books anywhere i am there's a price tag cool all right movies on tubi next all right okay. how long does it take to be a successful artist that's not that's not yeah. quantify. That's not quantifiable. Yeah, it's still an answer to the question, though. Okay, it's not a quantifiable answer. Yeah, it is. if you have, if you, if you already a have a little bit of artist. money, if you already have a little bit of money and you just going straight into it, and you, you get what I'm saying, I say you blow it a year. I don't think it's quantifiable because different people got different definitions of success. If okay. success to me is money and success to you is fan base, you're successful. If you have fans and I don't have, you don't have no money. You're successful. Let's say a hundred no, So I said no explaining. We'll explain it next okay, time. Okay. Okay, All okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. In my opinion, when you don't have to work any other job but doing music, that's what it, how long it ever takes to get to that for whoever that is. That's how I explain that. All right. <clears throat> Why, in your opinion, is this the greatest time to be in music? If you believe that. I mean, hip hop or music? music in general. Yeah. Well, I'm not in all forms of music, so I don't know. But I know hip hop and R and B. Yeah, just talk about your specialty. Yeah. Okay. I got uh, I got mixed emotions about that one. I feel like it's it depends on who you are in music. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So whether you're the artist, producer, it depends on what role you play. Certain roles benefit more than others. And you get what I'm saying? It just depends on depends on what you're doing. All right, cool. I don't know. I don't know if it's the best time because I don't, I don't, yeah, that'll be something I'll have to explain. So, okay, yeah. cool. I'm a, so there's unlimited streams of income and streams of platforms you can get out to and put your stuff out consistently. 
but doesn't mean it's easier. But there's the access is a lot more. That's my opinion. All right. <clears throat> what do you think what? is the next phase of music com- with AI coming into play? I will say this about that last one. I ain't gonna explain it, but so you said all these access points also creates a lower overhead, uh, not a lower overhead, but because we have so many access points, the demand and supply and demand, it's not as much money circulating in certain spaces. People aren't buying music the There's way they used to. There's different ways to get it now, though. It is, and that's what your first question, but you said the reason why you feel like it's the best mm-hmm. time for music is because of all these, but that also creates chaos because now people aren't trying to spend a mo- spend money. We just, oh, what he, what he say? Let me go to YouTube. Oh, what he say? Let me get it for free. People ain't trying to spend it as much. That's why you control your section. Okay. And you ain't gotta be you ain't gotta be everywhere in the club. Just control your section. Okay, but I mean you're on social media. There's no control there. You're yeah, not gonna is. be able to control when somebody You create the control. You can't control what people put up. Uh no, no, no. I don't mean by that. I mean like by control. Niche. Like you create your community okay. by how you present yourself on social media. You create it. Okay. You create how they're gonna react and how they're gonna talk based on how you act. Okay. If you act different on the how you create it, then they're gonna act different. Okay. You see the niggas that be wilding out. All the niggas in the comments is wilding out because that's how they act. That's what they attract. If you cool, your people in your comments gonna be cool. There's gonna be some niggas on there gonna say some crazy shit. You check them niggas, get them the fuck on. I'm not checking a thousand niggas though. No, you don't. You let you let everybody else do it once oh, you get popular enough. Okay, yeah. Because the respect will be at built. This point, it's like all right. Cool, the respect, the respect gets built there where they check them for you at a certain point. Okay, got you. You. Have you put moderators like in there? Somebody disrespecting Wayne. You put moderators yeah. in your chat or whatever, however you do it. You What's put going moderators. On with Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they ain't even really. I mean, they released the music, but they fans is kind of. They fans. They fans dragging it. <laughs> I yeah. mean, they're not dragging it, but they they keeping it going. If that makes sense. Because if they ain't had no fans, they would just be two people releasing music and not. There wouldn't be any controversy. Yeah, and they fans talking about the most. The lowest and the most <laughs> disappointing rap beef in history. Yeah. So next question. Damn. All right. With well, AI, AI, what are your thoughts on AI? And I love it. Okay. Iron Man used it in his suit, Jarvis, and I will. I want me a suit one day. I think uh, it's gonna be a bunch of automated systems. So I feel like, like you were saying, like the um, you know. It's, uh, like for say in Atlanta, it might be like a certain road map that you can take to get, you know, and will achieve a certain goal. I feel like soon it's just gonna be okay. Slap your music here, submit it in this platform, kind of like a distro, distro kid, kid. But the distro kid is gonna do everything for you, mm-hmm. included in, yeah. you know, they yeah. they might just say, oh, you gotta pay a hundred dollars for every song, but that hundred dollars might make you five hundred, and I don't think it's gonna matter about a- how you submit it. How you, deep. yeah. So let's say AI, right? So I go on AI and I wanna, I want some cover art. Is it a high possibility that the cover art AI gave me, someone else already got that from AI? Nah, nah. They can steal it. Yeah. Yeah, they can steal it. But you, yeah, usually AI is so it's so randomly generated. There's no way they're gonna get the exact same thing. You I've did. seen somebody literally type in SpongeBob on AI and it gave it a really good SpongeBob. Like SpongeBob in the dystopia, like I've seen that. Oh, so it, it pretty much did it well. <laughs> but if I co- but if I copy that same prompt, it's not gonna give me the same dystopia. Something yeah. about it's gonna All be right. weird. Exactly. You know, it's gonna be something. Okay, okay. Because it's too randomly generated. It's going into the binary code and all this is different. You know, bit bit. So. Now see, that's what I couldn't figure out about it. Because mm-hmm. I was like, you know, even of course the information they give you might be the same. Because you know, information is information. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like making cover art or making like they even got them where they make business names now. You need a business name, yeah. you just go on AI. Yeah. But if if I'm getting this business name from AI, what's the likelihood of somebody else getting the same business name that's from when, AI? That's when you utilize your human aspect. AI is not the end-all, be-all. It's just the start. Just like Nectar or Isotope. You, you remix it. Yeah, you, you use it for the starting point, and then you, you modify it with your personality, and that's what makes it what it is. Because it's not art if something else completely created it. You know, you make the art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, all right, you give me this to save me time. Because the hardest part is starting the journey. Once I'm in it, oh, I kind of already know now. I can just, once I got somebody giving me the, the go, I already know what to put. Like, I already 
but I just don't want to start because that's taking too much time and mental power. Like, uh, where do I go? What do I? So yeah. But anyway, I know you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much for me, um, it's just going to be a lot more ways to create and do stuff. It's going to be a lot more people are going to have to be able to do to make money, but it's going to be more money to be made because of the opportunities that AI can provide mm-hmm. for what you can do. I feel like it's gonna make people lazy. Mm. No, well, niggas, are, niggas, n- no matter what era, niggas gonna be lazy. Regardless. Nah, yeah, but I feel like that's gonna make like even the hardest working people, like the hardest working people, are definitely gonna profit the most, no matter what, because they're the hardest workers. But I feel like really? even they're gonna be lazy. No, yeah. no, but lazy is a mentality. It's not something that people are. Okay, well, not the men- no. I feel like AI will definitely make you develop the mentality of lazy. Cause so, so like GPS, it makes people not want to know where they're going. Cause I yeah, still, I still can't things. understand how people use maps. Used to use maps, but they, I people used to use them, motherfuckers. I still can't understand to this day. You're talking about like a map, a, a map, like but the see big that ass maps. I didn't, I don't understand how people used to follow them shits to get places. I in don't get a it. way that made us lazy. But you get what I'm gave, saying? But you said earlier, now time is money. Now it's so not now practical. we're saving time because instead practical. of me, yeah, yeah, now we're you know what I'm saying. So where it's is it? See the saving time? Now it's, it's definitely saving time, but it's still just like, like, like how Fifty Cent when he came, well, not when he came out, but he came out and started speaking on newer artists, and he was like, "Y'all don't want to work for nothing. Y'all don't work like y'all don't." But that's different. They're not that's lazy because of yeah. like, AI. Some They're other not. Shit. Yeah, that's some other shit. That's the self. But see, it's still okay. So as an artist, mm-hmm. AR can AI can only do but so much. Like right, they can't, yeah. they can't help you. They can't help you on stage. Right. They can't help you make this. Well, they they can't help you make the song. But they still. But at the end of the day, they still gotta perform. Exactly. Exact. But see, that's the work. Like it, I don't know. No like, work. Just, the work don't never stop. It's just gonna be new technological advances to help make the work get a little easier. When yeah. you're performing your art. Everything put into that art pours out. Mm-hmm. If you didn't put anything into the art, so what about ghostwriters? That was the AI before AI. You're right, but they still got to put their 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 picture to it. Their spin, like, right? So that's why I said AI is the template. It's not the end all be all. You just use AI to get your start. If that's what you want to do, if you want to create a business name completely from scratch, cool. Or you can just say, "Give me fifty business names for a clothing company that I'm planning to release," and then it'll do 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 do. And you can say, "Hmm, I like that. I don't like that. Okay, now give me a name that's kind of in the kin of this and do, 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 and talk to the AI. Get a, okay, cool. I like this. Now let me change one of the letters or add three Z's at the end or do do do. Now it's mine." But I didn't have to think of these 50 names. I just got inspired by him. And it's a conversation I'm personally giving this AI. He's not going to have the same conversations as me with that AI. So it's a personal relationship, even though it's not really a real person, that I'm building with this technology, just like Iron Man and Jarvis. That's all I see it as. I'm not dumb. Iron Man's Tony Stark wasn't dumb when he took the suit off. He just became a little bit more powerful with it just because it's like, you know what I'm saying? He could do shit he couldn't do because he got the suit on. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't whoop somebody ass without it. And that's just AI, and that's essentially shit. They, you know, that's my opinion. You know, but that's, nah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I it think take, you got. I just, I just think you got to get into it. And once it you do, work it's to like appreciate. If I, you ain't put in the work, I can't. Like, I can't. The work comes from learning it. Have if you, I didn't cut that yard, I can't appreciate how that yard is. But cut, if AI could cut, cut that yard and you make money from it, you ain't gonna say nah. If it was my yard, then I'm appreciative. I love that yard. You get yeah, what I'm saying? The end of the day, you feel me? We're gonna talk about it later. <laughs> no, she like yeah, the new tech. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last question. Uh-huh. Would you date a woman that's in the music industry? Hell in the industry? Yeah. In the industry or just on her More way? More preferably an artist. Would I, I date an artist? Hell yeah. I don't care. I do. I don't care if you're an artist, executive. If you but see it. You All right, listen, wait till the next episode to find out from me. All right, my name is Dre. <laughs> Damn. This bro. is why I fuck you make music podcast. My name is Dre. This is Ty. This is, what you call yourself? Ashbell. All right. Till next time, we'll see y'all. Boom.